And here I decided, you know what? I'm gonna give you this pawn. I played my rook to a7, he took, and by taking, he actually freed up the d6 square for my bishop, and there was no good way for him to try to defend his pawn. He did try though, of course. And this was starting to get very beautiful. His king was in the center of the board and I was salivating over potential checkmates. I thought if he plays something like rook to b7, then I get rook to b2, then I get rook to a7, threatening checkmate, and once he defends it, I even have pawn pushes. So because I was threatening rook to a7, he defended with his rook to b7, I pushed with check, he played king to e7, which just let me recapture the bishop because he wouldn't be able to pin it since I would be able to capture on c6. He ended up resigning shortly after he lost a piece, which I really appreciated because it's a double round and we're both trying to keep our stamina for round two. 